I totally just filmed my entire video in slow-mo on accident. This is the 13th version. This is a short little video about all of my sustainable household products that I bought when I moved to LA. The only reason I'm doing this video is because um, I like to post on my story on Instagram, my eco-friendly sustainable products. And a lot of people were reaching out to me, asking me um, what brands these were, how I liked them, um, if there were similar brands. So I'm just gonna go through all of them. It was like Christmas to me buying all of these. So I can't wait to show you guys. Um, I think that a really big thing is as much as I love being sustainable and having eco-friendly um, methods and products, no one's perfect. United States societies like this make it really difficult to be just based off of a lot of what's available to us is not necessarily sustainable or eco-friendly. If you're not in the mood to like strip down naked, live in the jungle and not have a cell phone, hunt your food, and bathe in mud, this is a great start. We live in such a society that it's so difficult to maneuver trying to be eco-friendly, but the more people who make baby steps make it an even bigger change. So thank you for watching this video and let's get to it. The first product I'm gonna show you guys is Blue Land. Um, they are an amazing little company in New York. They were on Shark Tank actually, and they are cleaning products. So they come in little bottles like this. They're glass bottles. You order a package of them. I think that I got the clean essential set. So this gave me a glass and mirror one, a multi-surface one, and a bathroom one. So what they do, is they believe that refilling is the new recycling. They come in little packets like this. So this one, yeah, this one is a peppermint hand soap. You open these up and there are these little like pill kind of things. They, if you get the essential set, they come with these glass bottles, bathroom, um, multi-surface and uh, mirror and glass. And so what you do is you unscrew the top of these, you drop your little pill um, into water. So you fill these bottles up to like this line with water, drop the pill in, it fizzes up and it gives you a cleaner. So they get the job done and you're not contributing to all this plastic waste. Um, and then every month or whenever you need it, you just order these and they come in the mail and you can redo it all again and put them back in here. So it's refilling and you're not throwing away a plastic bottle every time you use something. They smell great, they're really adorable. They come in a great, great package. Um, no plastic, no styrofoam, nothing like that. And I'll actually show you guys. <laughs> I'm using their box right now as a stand for the camera. So this is what it looks like. The future of clean has arrived. So I highly suggest Blue Land. The next product I'm gonna show you guys is a company called Drops. Um, so Drops actually does laundry detergent as well as dishwashing detergent. I currently have so much laundry detergent left over that I'm just trying to get like through before I order Drops. But um, their whole marketing tactic is basically every kind of detergent that you're buying, like in those big jugs or whatever, plastic, mostly filled with water, um, weird chemicals that you don't know the name of and can be very you know, aggravating for skin. You don't really know what's in it. It's kind of a ripoff for what you're getting. So drops um, the leaves in eco-friendly packaging. So it just comes in this um, and they are, so it opens up, it's really cool. It says, save water, save time. So they open up like this. This is uh, dish pods for dish detergent. I got the lemon one and you just open them up like this. And here's what they look like. They're just these cute little 
they're like the same thing as like regular ones, except for they have more natural ingredients in them. They do a really good job cleaning and um, they don't come with all the plastic and they're not weird chemicals. Um, like their whole thing for the laundry detergent is you could literally take a bath in one of these um, and you would be fine. Like with other ones, like would you take a bath in it? Mm. Tide Pods? I don't think I would take a bath in Tide Pods. They have really funny commercials. I highly suggest looking into them. Um, this is a super great company for subscriptions. Like you just sign up for the subscription. It's like six to eight bucks, I think. And then they get sent to you once you're done. And you can do a family plan where you get a ton more of these, or you can do like a single plan like me. Me and my three roommates, like we'll probably only need this for a few months. Um, but yeah, highly suggest this company. Save time, save water. You can take a bath in it. Another really great website that I love, um, I'm gonna introduce to you guys a couple websites that I order from that have like sustainable products or like household items and things like that. Um, so one of them is called Grove Collaborative and I like them, but you have to be kind of conscious of what you're looking at buying. Some things are a little bit more sustainable than others. What they really kind of strive for marketing wise is being organic. So as great as organic is, I kind of wanted to take it a step further and have plastic free, have um, certain things like that. Some things do come in plastic bottles, which I was trying to um, avoid, <laughs> but I still got a couple of really great items from there. So the first one is the coconut scrubber. So this is like basically like your average sponge. It does literally the same exact thing, except for it's made out of coconut. So you can see here, the like rougher edge for scrubbing is made of coconut. This is made of coconut. So the best thing about these is that they come in a pack of two and uh, they do the same job, but they're biodegradable, which is so much better. Um, and also, there are these little fun guys. These are like reusable paper towels. So they soak up like crazy um, when they get dirty. So this is kind of stiff right now because it's not wet. But when you get it wet, um, it soaks up just like a paper towel. And then when you want to clean them, you just pop them right in the dishwasher. Um, this one came in a pack of two. The other one is actually in the dishwasher right now, but they come in cute little designs. Um, there you can see Grove Collaborative and I, I really like these just because I hate using a shit ton of paper towel. This floor cleaner. So like I said, like Grove, you kind of have to be a little bit careful with. Um, the reason I liked this is because I, Blue Land doesn't really come with a floor cleaner. You could totally, I'm sure, use this multi-surface one as that though. Um, but Grove had this specific floor cleaner so it came with this bottle this is a starter set and it's a glass bottle so that's great um and it's going to be reusable so it comes with a little like box like this and it's a orange and rosemary floor cleaner so this part i wasn't super crazy about but it's still like natural organic it smells amazing and gets your floors pretty darn clean so this isn't my favorite because it does come in a little plastic guy. Um, but you basically just unscrew this cap, squirt it in here with some water, and it smells amazing. You spritz it around. I use it with a Swiffer. Also, Swiffers, you can go on Amazon and get like those reusable pads or whatever and then just wash them. I, I do that. I don't like buying those disposable ones. So... Super easy to get them on Amazon. At the end of this, I will definitely put a link down there as well for that. Um, so Grove has like a lot of great little things like this. Um, like I said, be a little bit conscious of what you're buying because it likes to come across as like everything is eco-friendly, but some things are a little bit more than others. Um, still to this day though, this coconut scrubber is the bomb. Another site that I really love, it's really cute. It's like, a couple and like a little family in um, somewhere in California and they just decided to go completely zero waste so they put a bunch of their products online um, this is one of their products I think it was like eight dollars it's just like a wooden dish scrubber so 
it's basically the alternative to plastic dish scrubbers. It does the exact same thing. It works perfectly, um, but it's wooden. So that means it's compostable. Like it's not gonna be on this earth for longer than you. So it's great. It really works well. It's got bristles. Um, it even has like a little hook if you wanna hang it. Um, this is amazing. This is the dish soap bar on Wild Minimalist. Um, it does everything that you could ever think of. So right now it's got a little bit of a crack in it. I suggest if you buy this to get like a dish soap holder that has holes in it so it doesn't stay wet. Um, but you basically just take this, take your scrubber, wet your scrubber, um, rub on this and it's an amazing dish soap. It's like the natural version of Dawn. Um, it sticks around for a really long time. It's pretty thick. Um, and you can also use it for laundry stains. So I was eating chocolate ice cream on my beautiful white bed and um, chocolate ice cream got on my beautiful white bed. And I just came over there and I used my coconut scrubber and I rubbed it in and rubbed it into the stain and it was gone. So this is amazing. I use it for hand soap too. We put it in the kitchen. Um, we really should get like a holder for it, but it's amazing. It's all natural, it smells great. Um, Wild Minimalist has a lot of other products on there. I did order around Thanksgiving and the shipping took a little bit longer than I thought. But if you're gonna order, just order a little bit in advance. Um, I don't know how their shipping is, like not around the holidays, um, but they have a lot of really great products. Um, I really like it. So definitely we'll put that link in the bottom there. Toothpaste, I go through a lot and it was really starting to piss me off how much toothpaste waste was happening. Like you can't really clean out the bottle and recycle it, you know what I mean? So I decided that I would try Bite. Um, these are, here, this is a, like a really cute, packaging also. These are little uh, bits is what they call them. They're, they look like this. You literally pop them in your mouth, you bite down on it, and then you start brushing your teeth and it foams up. Um, I really like this. This one is, it's naturally whitening also. That's great. It's got all natural ingredients, so you're not afraid of what's going in your body. Um, and yeah, they come in, this has 248 bits. So I got this one. This one's a four month supply. As you can see, there's like a lot of them. Um, you can get a subscription as well. And you can also get a little sample one, which I did in the beginning. I ended up really liking them. So I decided to keep going. Um, these are all natural, sulfate free, cruelty free. They're called bite toothpaste bits and their hashtag is kick the tube. So um, this is great. They literally ship you, um, I think only the bits, like when you reorder them. So they're not constantly giving you more and more packaging. You keep this little glass bottle that you have. Um, and I think it works great. I mean, my teeth decently white, right? And, um, yeah, it really gets the job done. They have a ton of other kinds of toothpaste out there too, that are sustainable. Um, wild minimalist and zeroplasticwaste.com has like more gels or like scrubs if you like that better. So I suggest taking a look at that too. They have deodorants like that as well, which is next on my list, um, which are all natural and they don't harm your body, like aluminum free. Um, so I'm really gonna look forward to getting those too. But these are really great. They also have kids ones as well. Okay, so the next products are really simple. Um, for girls, I don't know about guys, but for girls, I know that a lot of people like to use cotton swabs to remove makeup um, or put face things on. So these are reusable. These are made of bamboo. I got these literally off of Amazon. Um, I think that they came with 32 of them and they came with a little laundry bag. So once you're done using them, you can either wash them in the sink and they come out pretty, pretty good. And you can also put them in your little laundry bag. And when you do your laundry next, um, you just wash them in your laundry bag and they come out looking like this. So you're not wasting a bunch of stuff. Um, also, another thing that I didn't really realize is 
fabrics are really important. So pretty much all of the cheap clothing that you could ever find or buy is made of petroleum. That's um, kind of gross. <laughs> so if you see things like nylon or um, polyamide or uh, yeah, there's, you know, the peas and stuff, like stuff that doesn't really sound normal, it's made of petroleum and it's a really, really big sustainability issue. Um, bamboo is actually incredibly soft. I also have like a, a wraparound towel for showers and things like that that's made out of bamboo. It's incredibly soft. Um, it's a lot easier with water than cotton and it grows a lot faster than trees. So um, when you're thinking of doing anything along the lines of fabrics or even paper, I would highly suggest using bamboo because that is definitely one of the most sustainable and more popular fabrics that you can find. Cotton is good too, but it uses a lot of water, which I'm sure everyone knows. Um, but these are really great. Um, it definitely cuts down your waste and they get the job done. Okay, so next on the list, um, probably also more for girls than guys, but I don't know whatever you want to do. These are FB makeup remover bars. These are amazing. These are from Amazon. This is called FB Superstar. It's a face cleanser and makeup remover. Um, something that I'm really trying to get away from is products like hair products, makeup remover, things like that, that are either in plastic bottles that you buy from the drugstore or they have plastic packaging. You know, Neutrogena wipes are made of petroleum. <laughs> So that used to be one of my favorite things to do, but I'm really trying to move past that. Um, let me get these out of here. Ooh. Okay, so these come in paper packaging as well. Um, you can see here, I'm not doing a very good job of showing you guys. Okay. These are what they look like, they smell amazing they're just like orange beautiful little bars um so you wet these down and you can rub them either directly on your face or you could put them on your handy dandy bamboo cotton rounds cotton rounds but they're made of bamboo super sustainable uh these are amazing they last pretty long they're made of all natural ingredients and they really they remove most of your makeup like i've never had an issue with them uh, my face smells like orange and it's really lovely. So I highly suggest these as well. So just again, these are ethnic superstars. Whoa, oops, okay. So um, the next thing is bamboo drawer organizers. Um, I know that there are so many plastic ones out there, but I personally loved these. These fit in just like plastic ones, um, but when you get rid of them, they're not going to take over the world. They're just gonna biodegrade into the beautiful earth. So um, these are great. I also have like a box one um, for my makeup. So I highly suggest doing that as well. Um, most of my furniture in here is wood. So I love that. I think that it makes a really clean look. Um, and I highly suggest getting those over the plastic ones. You can get them on Amazon. Last but not least, bar soap. I don't think that anyone pays attention to how much gross like soap you can buy and then you have all of these plastic bottles that you're constantly throwing away. This beauty is from Lush, um, one of my favorite places in the world. So these are all natural ingredients, of course. Um, they're made like by people, like handmade by people. This one smells divine. It's a, an, an amazing hand soap. Um, I think this one is like something Australian. It's like something out back. Um, it smells like the ocean, which I love. Um, I put it on like a little soap dispenser um, and it literally makes your hands smell amazing. It makes them feel amazing and you're not contributing to plastic waste and you're not wondering what you're putting on your skin. So I highly suggest Lush. It's very, very popular. You can find a store pretty much anywhere. Um, and I'm gonna hopefully after I'm done with all of my shampoos, so bad and I bought so 
many plastic bottled shampoos back in my day. So I'm really trying to get through those. And then I will be moving on to bar shampoos and conditioners and even lotions. Um, so Lush is a really great place to start for that stuff. And it lasts really long, smells really good, and it feels amazing. So I highly suggest going into your local Lush store, seeing what scents you like. You can usually find pretty much anything there. So last but not least, but honestly, one of my favorites. Okay, so thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I know that was probably a little rough considering this is my first one, but um, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to leave all of the links for all of these products in the down thingy. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share. Um, I'm gonna hopefully be coming up with a lot of more products um, that are sustainable. I'm really trying to go zero waste. So I'd love for you guys to follow me on my journey or you could follow me on Instagram as well at strums and hopefully you guys are a little bit inspired to go a little bit more sustainable and eco-friendly in your new place so um see you next time and thanks for tuning in